Hello gladiators and welcome to the Coliseum. In today's match we'll be continuing on Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, what we have to do is we have to go through and beat all the Team Plasma dudes. So I'm just gonna grind through it because I think that it would be much faster that way and not as boring to watch. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I will see you when we make it to the end. Okay guys, we are almost there. I think if I go down here I can go get a Pokeball or something, but I don't want to go down there. I want to go over here where Team Plasma is. We're almost there and I thought that I would show you a few battles in slow-mo so you can listen to me talk. Yay! So that's always fun, right? <laughs> Alright, so pretty much these whole battles, they were pretty pretty easy, but I am running out of, um, 
running out of... Um, what's that attack? The attack that Spurt has, it's dark, and I forgot what it's called, Nightshade? Yeah. And I only have two PP for that left. Hey! Uh, I think one hit kill. I killed a Petrat earlier, it was one hit kill. See, look at that. Go, Pico. Got another one? Bring it on! I will take you down. I don't like a lot of, like, showing a lot of the trainer battles, because, I don't know, they can go by really slow, and then I never know what to talk about to you guys as I'm doing it. So that's why I thought I would just speed it up, put some awesome music in there, and talk as I got closer to uh, the end of the forest, which is, we're almost there, I believe, from my memory of playing the other game, so. And we even reached level 22. That's good, because I think we have to battle a main guy up here. Fine, take your stupid skull. Oh, we got it back! It's That's a cool skull. I mean, it's nice and round. I think it's Dragonite. I'm pretty sure it's Dragonite. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Oh, there's one of the s annoying sages. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages. I'm mortified that this... That this school, which we went, so, went through so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon School. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which po Team Plasma is looking for. It is completely unrelated. So they worked through that, but we will not, will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, sweet! The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Are you here to help our friends whom I defeated? CC Berg! The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I'm one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Gidus, another of the sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the Seven Sages have ordered their competitors to take Pokemon with full force, but the odds are little against us now. To you, the bug po Pokemon user Berg and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quick, quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. These guys are little burgers. I don't like them. They're a speedy bunch. What do you plan to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading net back. Well now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm not looking forward to it. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> well, I'm not, as I just said. <laughs> Thank you, though. Cece, you're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, my Pokemon are happy. I, I don't need a Moonstone, do I? No. Unless I get, like, a Clefairy. Which could be possible, I'm just saying. I just hope I run into, like, an Eevee. That's what I want the most. It's a freaking Eevee. Anyway, let's go over and up, and we are at the end. Ooh, I almost missed the Pokeball. It's a Miracle Seed. Hey, that will be perfect for Pico, too. Awesome. Let's give that to him right now. Okay, let's try this again. Powers up Grass-type moves. And we would like to switch that. Yes! And nobody died throughout this episode, so I'm so happy because these guys are the only ones I have left. I am, though, going to go down so that I can... You son of a gun! Really? That's not funny! I wanted to go down and heal my Pokemon, but apparently we're gonna battle this chick because she turned around. You suck, lady. A Woobat! A Woo! I kind of like Woobat. I don't like the style, but I like the name. It's funny. Alright, let's try Leaf Tornado and kill in one shot, please. Pretty please. Flip chair and No. You're a bad, bad person. I'm gonna smack you with the Vine Whips that I've got. 
Okay, well that was effective. All right. Another Wubat. Spurt, come on out. Use some dark attacks and kill this son of a gun. Is Wubat a psychic? It looks like a psychic. It looks more psychic even dark, but I could be wrong. And if it's a dark, then it's true. Well, that it wasn't super effective, but... Oh, that! I was identified. Shit. Oh, we're good. Like I said, I didn't have very much PP for my Nightshade left. Alright, level 22. And he wants to use Shadow Sneak. Let's see what that does. The user extends its shadow and attacks the target from behind. This move always goes first. I like it. Let's take away... Confuse Ray. I want to keep Disable for emergencies. So we'll get rid of Dis... Or Confuse Ray. And we learned Shadow Sneak. Awesome. It's not very strong, but if it always goes first, I'm not complaining. So let's try it. Because at least that has PP. Ooh, it's super effective. Why was it Nightshade then? Well, that was awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. This guy's going to want to battle me, huh? I thought so. It's not like Pokemon Fire Red where you can sneak past them if you're far enough. Nope. You have to battle them if you cross their path, because they figured out how to use that kind of technology in Pokemon. Which I'm very sad for. Alright, Pico. Pico Pico. I forgot why they do that. But I like it. I'm gonna use a Leech Seed because I know he might have a Psychic move. Seal the opponent's move. Does that mean I can only use that? I sure hope not. This will be a long battle. Okay, we're good. Moonlight, you suck. Dang it. Okay, well I should be able to kill it next turn, so. And we got all our health, too. Hip hip hooray! I'm just trying to go down and heal my Pokemon. That's all I'm trying to do. Is that so bad? I mean, is that against some kind of Pokemon law? I didn't think so either, so let me pass. Thank you. Alright, I'm coming here to heal my Pokemon. And though it says I've been recording for 24 minutes, I know it's only been like, maybe 10. And so I shouldn't end the episode here. So I guess we'll just, we'll finish Pinwheel Forest in this episode. And we'll go from there next episode. So we beat two of the trainers. I don't really want to battle these guys. Let's see what's over here. An old man and he won't let me pass. Ooh, that was close. I can beat you. No, I can't. Okay, I guess I'll battle these trainers. Because apparently the forest in exit is right there and I didn't even know. I thought it was a little bit way up there. A little bit way up there. I am so good at this, guys. I mean, really. No, I'm not. But, Leech Seed, go! That's right. Shake it. Take my seeds of leeching this. Don't kill me! Thank you. Take some of your health and give it back. It's kind of like having a shell bell, but not as effective. It's not very effective, but it almost killed you. That makes a lot of sense, because Pico 2 is awesome! So I don't know if it was just me, but in episode 6, it was either seven or eight. I was in this really good mood and I was just talking and I didn't have a headache and you know I was just going on and it felt so awesome like I actually knew what I was talking about and I just felt like I was doing something right that I was able to do this commentary right but now I can't get that back and I've lost it <laughs> and now I'm just kind of talking and not talking about important stuff I'm just kind of talking if that makes sense. Alright, well I guess there wasn't any more trainers, so I guess we'll go up here and see what happens. I'm actually not sure where we're gonna be. Oh, it's a beautiful bridge! I like this bridge. This, this, I was like, wow, when I walked across this bridge. It was so cool. The Sky Arrow Bridge. I think, I don't know if it's Pokemon White or if it's White 2. 
but one of these, like the birds, you can find the bird shadows and you can get stuff. I think it's in both of the games, actually. But here we have a beautiful bridge. I'm gonna take this time to thank you all for always watching my videos and giving me support and likes and Blackleaf for commenting and you too, Lafargo, and a few other people that do. It makes me feel good. I always come in, I always wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I wonder how many views I got. I wonder how many comments and likes. And I get so excited because it's just so awesome to, you know, it feels good to see that somebody's actually watching. I originally started out my channel with um, Pokemon Ruby walkthrough and I did it because I thought it looked so fun. It looks so fun to help people uh, with their games, with their video games, because, you know, I love playing video games, so it was so cool to watch it. And I was like, okay, I'm, I gotta create my own. I gotta try this. So it took me forever to figure it out, but when I did, I felt so good that I actually got it up. And actually, some of those videos have helped people. I've got comments, I've got likes, I got like 700 views on one, and that feels really good. I know it's not a lot, like maybe Tobuscus or PewDiePie, but you know, it still feels good to have that. So, thank you, subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all your support and help through to keep me going at this. I know I created a new channel, and my old channel, Pokemon Original, it's, I'm not on it anymore, and that's where I got my started my Pokemon Ruby. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. Um, I'm gonna stop at the end of this bridge. We're gonna end the episode, and then we're gonna start off in this next city. So I love you guys. You guys mean so much to me, and I will see you next time.